Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our biology form one lesson and uh, we are going to discuss the electron microscope. Uh, previously, uh, we learned about the light microscope and we discussed that a light microscope uses light to illuminate the specimen. On the other hand, uh, the electron microscope uses beams of electrons to illuminate the specimen. And also, uh, we had earlier said that light microscope has a certain magnification of about 1,000, uh, magnifying up to about 1,000 times or thereabout. But uh, an electron microscope has a very high magnification, and this one can go up to 500,000 times. And this is the uh, microscope that is used when a lot of details are required on specimens, especially in uh, research work or in medical uh, profession. Uh, so we can first say that uh, this is a more powerful microscope with a magnification of up to 500,000 times. It also has a high resolving power so the resolving power is the ability to distinguish the ability to distinguish close structures structures that are close with clarity so it is more uh, it's it is able to have uh, a higher ability to distinguish uh, close objects or close structures with clarity more than a light microscope we have also stated that electron microscope uses a beam of electrons to magnify or to, let's not use the word to magnify, but to illuminate, to illuminate the specimen. So the next thing that uh, I would want us to look at are the differences between a light microscope and an electron microscope. Between an electron microscope and a light microscope. So you'll put it as a as a table. So on one side we have light microscope 
and the other side we have electron. Uh, so, number one, light microscope uses light to illuminate the specimen. Uh, the electron microscope, this one uses a beam of electrons. to illuminate specimen. Uh, number two, in terms of the difference, a light microscope has a low magnifying power. Or you can say has a lower because it's a comparison. Uh, the electron microscope has a higher magnifying power. Number three, in terms of the resolving power, which we have uh, explained, a uh, light microscope has a lower resolving power, ability to distinguish close objects. Electron has higher resolving power. Light microscope can be used on both live and dead specimens electron microscope can only be used on dead specimens Continuation number five, uh, the light microscope, uh, the specimen is placed on a slide which is then placed on the stage. In the case of electron microscope, the specimen is placed on a grid which is placed in a vacuum. So all those are differences that we can identify to, uh, we can use to distinguish between the light microscope and electron microscope. Uh, for the case of light microscope, uh, it uses normal dyes to stain the specimen. Uh, in the case of uh, the electron microscope, this one uses complex stains to stain the specimen and so on and so forth. So those are six differences that we have observed between a light microscope and an electron uh, microscope. So basically an electron microscope is more powerful with a higher magnification of up to 500,000 times uh, compared to a light microscope that has only about 1,000. That's why one of the differences is lower magnification 
higher magnification. Uh, also, electron microscope has a higher resolving power, the ability to distinguish close objects with clarity. Uh, uh, light mi microscope has a lower resolving power. Electron microscope has a higher resolving power. Electron microscope uses a beam of electrons to illuminate the specimen. A light microscope uses light to illuminate the specimen. More differences. For light, we use it for both live and dead specimens. So we can use it uh, both on live and dead specimens. And that's why we learned uh, how to make uh, temporary uh, slides using live specimens. Uh, and then we use them on a light microscope. But for the electron microscope uses only dead specimens. Uh, in light microscope, a specimen is placed on a slide. Is placed on a slide, which is then placed on the stage. Uh, but in the case of an electron microscope, the specimen is placed on the grid, which is then placed in a vacuum. Light microscope uses normal dyes, uh, something like iodine, to stain the specimen. But uh, electron microscope uses complex stains. So basically we'll uh, stop there as far as the comparison between the two is concerned. And the next thing, we'll have an assignment based on that. So the assignment for today, the first question is what is resolving power? Uh, B, magnifying power. Question number two, state for differences between a light microscope and an electron microscope. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>